evening. I am the chair of the Board of Appeals on Zoning. The function of this board is to provide zoning flexibility. The action of the board can be an interpretation which involves an interpretation of the zoning code text or a zoning district boundary. We may also issue a variance which is an appeal to vary from the strict application of the zoning code. The meeting is videotaped. It is important that only one person speak at a time and the audience observe respect for the speaker. When the appeal in which you are interested in is called, please come forward to the podium and allow the board a moment to review the material after which you may give your name and address to the secretary. After the appellate's presentation, anyone interested in the appeal may come forward, give his or her name and address to the secretary. Please make your comments brief and to the point. All questions should be directed to the board and not to the appellant. The board will discuss the appeal, vote, and continue to the next appeal. An affirmative vote of two-thirds of the board, which is four votes, shall be necessary to decide in favor of an appeal. The action of the board is final, and the only relief is through the court. Please be advised that use and dimensional variances expire in six months from the date of this meeting. Are there any questions? And if there are none, the secretary will call roll in the first appeal. This now becomes a public hearing to allow the requested variance. So we'll do roll call and then go on with the business. Uh, Nancy Borchard. Present. Dennis Browning, excused. Bruce Gale. Present. David Helpap, excused. Jack Nash. Present. Deanna Verziglio. Present. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum. Okay. The next thing on the agenda are the approval of the minutes from May 1st. Do I have a motion for that? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed, the same sign. Okay. Approval. Uh, the next thing we have on the agenda is would be the approval of the agenda. You took a look at it. We have one case to look at. Mm -hmm. Do I have a motion for that? Motion to approve. Oh, second. All in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed by the same sign. Uh, and our new business is case number J190020. It is a public hearing for a variance request to allow the homeowner to operate a child care center at 822 North Webster. The property is on North Webster Street between Miller and Throop, and she is asking for a variance to operate a child care center at that address. The address is zoned R1, a single family residential district. So is there anyone that would like to speak on this matter? Good evening, I'm Tahani Douglas. I'm the person that wants to um, request a variance uh, for a small child care center with up to 20 children. Um, when I first pur purchased a property, it, when I looked it up on the sonar system, it was listed as an R2 which is why I initially purchased it. And I didn't find out till when I started going to the process to get it approved for the daycare that I learned that it was indeed an R1. So just um, requesting a variance in order to get it approved. Okay. Your, your name and address? My um, name is Tahani Douglas. Uh, my address, where I currently am, is 1820 West Michigan, but I also own 822 North Webster. Thank you. Does anyone else like to speak on this? Did you say you want want a variance for 20 children in that? For up to 20 children. I currently am licensed up with up to 12. And once I made um, <clears throat> the move, I wanted to do a small center, um, which the property is large enough to hold up to 20 children to service more children because um, I get calls every day. Uh, for children that I can't take. And so me being a person that's very passionate about children, I want to help as many as I, I can. Um, 
until I'm in the property and able to get it, you know, uh, finish getting it fixed up. Um, I wanted to also purchase the lot next door to it so that we could have a, a bigger play area, a bigger place, you know, to kind of expand so that I can open up my program to, to more um, children and just the neighborhood children if they want to come and play as well. So, so but, but with state guidelines with your daycare center, once it goes from 6 to 12, mm -hmm. what's the next number after 12? It's the not, next one is uh, 13 not, to 20. 13 or 20? Which is a small center. Okay. And then there, you, you know, you have another, like, I think, like, 20 to, like, 31 or something. Then you have another where you can go up to 70 children. I'm not seeking that right now. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. How long have you owned the property? I've uh, owned the property since May. Okay. So you own it or you buy it land contract? I own it. You own it. Mm-hmm. Yes, the one that one. This is, this is a question for staff. What is the discrepancy on, this, on the city map about the zoning R1 versus R2? What happened? Does anybody know? Um, apparently that was rezoned a couple of years ago and sonar has never been updated. Because it got was it. before my time. Oh yeah, I'm um, just wondering. But yeah. yeah. I got it. So at one time it was on something else. Yes. Is, is everything all clear for you to buy the lot next door? I have to wait until I'm in a property for a year, which I was hoping I could kind of get it before then, but I, I guess, you know, I have to uh, go by the guidelines. But I wanted to be in a place because now I have a lot of overhead where I'm at. And so I, I pay a lot of expenses and I want to kind of pour that the reason why I brought the property is so that I'm able to pour more back into my daycare where I'm able to provide more services for my children. Um, I'm the type of provider that when I see my children take an interest in something, I specifically go buy that thing so that they'll be able to sharpen their tools, you know, uh, you know, kids like for construction. So I go buy a little construction set where they're able to put things together if they want to, you know, um, do engineering or drawing so i always try to have those tools and so unfortunately i've you know kind of ran out of space to do what i want to do and so i'm just hoping that if i could move and be able to save up a little bit more that maybe i can eventually get a bigger center to where i could you know do a lot of the things that i've been trying to do who, who owns the lot now the city Oh, city or the land bank? The land bank. Land bank. Mm hmm Okay. I put the application in, and they told me that it was on hold because I have to wait. I'm like, oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so this is another question for our staff. What was the reasoning? You probably don't know to go from R2 to R1. There, uh, generally, probably there just wasn't any homes that were taking advantage of it being R2, so they put it back to R1. Because that's something that they're doing again as we're trying to go through the city and see what the actual uses are of all of the different properties to see what would be the best zone for what is naturally developing there. And also just to mention, um, for a child care up to 20, that she would have had to come to get a variance anyways. Generally in R2, we only allow six. Um, even up to 12, we would have had to get a variance. Mm -hmm. yeah, anything over six, correct? Yeah, anything over six, you need a variance for. Mm -hmm. so. And I actually did have to come here for that, mm -hmm. like four years ago. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any other questions from the board? Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. Is there anyone else that would like to speak on this matter? If you state your name and address, please. Ronald Harper, 823 North Harrison, Saginaw, Michigan. I live directly behind 822 Webster. I've been to 30 years. <clears throat> uh, we have a quiet neighborhood, and I'm not looking forward to having a bunch of kids running around, throwing things. I have an alley in the... In the, it's not a roadway, paved alley, 
and I'm not looking forward to people parking in the alley and blocking it possibly. Uh, new owners don't seem to respect the neighborhood because they have six foot high weeds all summer long in their backyard. Don't attempt to cut it. And it might, uh, it might uh, depreciate my property value. I own three lots at 823 North Harrison. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak on this matter then? Mm -hmm. I've been doing daycare professionally for over six years now, and I've never had an instance where my children have been rowdy. We have certain times that are allotted uh, during the day where we actually allow the children to go outside and play. Um, the area will be fenced in. We will not be using the alley. The only, the only people that will be using the alley are me and my other employee. Those are the only ones that they're going to be using the back alley, um, which we will be there all day. Um, there's also parking on the street. The parents pull in, they drop their children off, and they leave. There's no one staying. <clears throat> what would be your hours of operation? My hours of operation currently are 24 hours. However, we only are 24 hours when we have children there. Like if we have children that are required to stay overnight, then it'll be one person there throughout the night. As, as far as working and having children. Um, it's no um, disruption to any, anything that's going on within the, the neighborhood or the block. Yeah, but what time are children dropped off and picked up since it's 24 hours? Um, the latest um, children I have right now will leave at midnight, which again, it, they're there for a few minutes and they're gone. It would be the earliest time you would let somebody drop somebody off? The earliest time is 5.30 in the morning. So it's basically just using a five and a half hour window when nobody, when cars aren't around. Nobody's dropping anybody off and on, correct? Correct. So it's like a staggering method. It, it, it's not like that all day nor every day. It just depends on when the parents work and um, when, when they're off. And so um, there's not a whole a lot of tra traffic because I have a, a lot of the families I service have multiple children. So it's not a bunch of different cars. It's just only a few. Is there a daycare in the, in the uh, house now? No. Right now um, it's getting uh, remodeled. So where is your daycare now? My daycare now is 1820 West Michigan. Do you own that property or do you lease the property? I'm leasing the property. What, what building is that? It is um, right uh, in between Grout and Wheeler. It's a couple doors down on the right-hand side from the church. Got it. The alleyway is a, a, a shared alley, right? Correct. I, I drove by it. Um, and the only time, the only place that they'd be dropping off and uh, picking up is in the front of your home? In the front, yes. And you said you and your employees would be back there if they're parking back there for you? Correct. In the alleyway? Correct. Well, not in the alley. There are spaces behind the property where um, you, you can pull in. It's not like they're parking in the alley. It's, par it's actually park a parking spaces back there where could, there could be parking. And you can see that on this map. Anything else? Did did you make uh, provisions for uh, lawn care? Um. Yes. Me and my son, we have been going out there um, trying to get it all mowed up. So, yes, I've called several people out and they can't do it. And so I have to try to do it when I'm not doing daycare. And so, unfortunately, because I can't, it's really at a standstill. I can't really, you know, uh, do as much as I would want to do um, because I'm not 
um, able to be over there a lot of the time. I can't devote, I am not able to devote a lot of my time because I'm not inhabiting it right now. And so by me running my daycare and by the hours I work and trying to get me and my son over there to actually cut it has presented a problem this summer and also trying to get people to actually show up to do it. So that's been a lot of my problem. Because I noticed that the weeds are very high there. Yeah, in the back, we, we got the front, but the back, um, our equipment failed on us, so we, you know, I couldn't get back to get it. But you have plans to take care of that? Yes, I do. Okay, so we've all given some input here and we've had some speakers here. Is there anybody else that wants to say anything before we take a motion? No? Thank you. So the motion would be to allow the variance uh, to operate a child care center at 822 North Webster Street. Um, Nancy, mm -hmm. could we close the public hearing first? Oh, certainly. So the public hearing, if there is no one else that wants to speak on this, the hearing would be closed. And then we'll go with this, take a motion now. Okay. Um, again, it is for a variance request to allow the homeowner to operate a child care center at 822 North Webster Street. So uh, do I have a motion? <coughs> Anybody to allow the variance? So what she means by when we go into, when she closed the public hearing, that you will hear a discussion between us, but nobody can interject, okay? Okay, I move that we approve case J190020. Is there a second to that motion? No second. Okay. Discussion. Discussion about that. Um, or anything else? This is a, this is for staff. Mm -hmm. I don't have a real problem with part of this, the daycare itself, but I would like a better description of why the city missed this in the first place. I don't know if the city did it on purposely to take it back to R1 from R2, or is just a discrepancy on the map? I don't know if the city decided to come back because he wanted it to stay residential and not commercial at some point. I don't know if you can clarify that at some point. Um, it was just because nobody was taking advantage of it being R2, so they decided to put it. There were more, all of the properties seemed to just be using it as single family residential, right. and so they moved it back to single family residential. So R2 is multiple families, am I correct? Yeah, multiple right. family and also allows more um, types of business, home businesses right. than a single family residential zoning does. But the property, property probably would not have been purchased had it been updated. Correct. So. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I also like to mention the house. Um, if a couple of you have driven by, it has been in very bad shape for a while, um, and so she will be. Tani will be working with the inspectors to make sure that it is up to code, um, right. making the repairs that need to be done for the house. Anybody that's been through this knows that this is the easy part. The state's the hard part. Right. <laughs> the state is much harder about <laughs> that than we are. Well, and granting the variance is just allowing her to go to the next step, correct. correctly? Correct. Okay. Right. Yep. So, lots of different steps to be made before that happens. Well, plus she has to get the approval of the state for right. everything, too, right? Yes. For the child care, yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody? So we have a motion. Oh, just one other question. Yes. What other kind of, um, whatever you heard from the other neighbors, everything, they'd be sent out for 300 feet around? Yep, I have not heard anything from any neighbors. No, no correspondence. Besides now, Ronald. Okay. Yep. Okay, anything else? 
think of any. Okay. So there is a motion on the table, and it was seconded. So um, all in favor of granting this variance, um, say aye. 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 And opposed by the same sign. So the request was granted for you to go ahead with the procedure that now you need to do to get the license so that you can operate at 822 North Webster. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Proceed with the next issue on the agenda, which would be old business. Does anyone have anything for that? Cassie, any old business? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, public comment is next, which we've had. Is that something different than what we just talked about? Or? Uh, so, yep, a public comment would be if any of you want to bring up anything different than um, this case. So we're down to the last one, which is adjournment. I'll make that one.